Hello, great to see you. Welcome to Watchdog Live from the office, where tonight we have some big news on that Vauxhall story. And also, we're sorry to have to tell you about problems with a company we thought was a name to rely on. Yeah. Marks and Spencer. Hasn't been their best week. Uh, they announced... Keys a text. You can send us a text. Pull <laughs> away, Vauxhalls. We have a major announcement on this coming up. But it seems parked on the slope in line with the highway code. Well, with me is Tim Shawcross from the... There are going to be a lot of people, millions of drivers, actually, who are very confused, lots of mixed... Some good news, though, uh, the, the Signums and Vectors are going to get this... Uh, slightly worrying that we're hearing about these incidents now with courses as well. Britain's smallest but second biggest selling car. Of course, they can get in touch with us. Absolutely, Vauxhall can. Thank you, Tim. Got there in the end. Now, uh, next, a company... Well, Richard Kendall Bush from the Small Claims Bureau apologises unreservedly if the company had mysteriously disappeared. Yeah, the story gets murkier by the day. Uh, well, if you've got a story for us to investigate, then let us know. You can use Lindy uh, for your text. Um, Pat Goodman and others still waiting for M&S furniture. Promise for Christmas delivery. We'll uh, be sure to pass those on, won't we?